announcement 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 so again it's going to be saturday and sunday and we are uh, again continuing with our design pattern and architecture pattern training remember that whatever we have covered till now all the recordings have been uploaded on the website please go and see that so till now what we have covered we started first with object oriented programming we talked about abstraction we talked about implementation we talked about inheritance uh, polymorphism composition aggregation association solid principles we talked about uh, inversion of control dependency injection domain driven development uh, different kind of classes in domain driven development like services entities and values importance of bounded context uh, aggregate root and bridge pattern and repository pattern and adapter pattern uh, we saw adapter pattern of both flavors adapter object pattern and adapter class pattern as well right so what are we covering this saturday and sunday this saturday and sunday we are focusing on cqrs command query responsibility segregation so this saturday and sunday our focus is on cqrs command query responsibility segregation so command query responsibility segregation says that create separate classes for insert update and delete and create separate set of classes for query that is for read operation for example typically what does a developer do you can see that there is a customer class out here so let us say we want to add a new customer so we need a first name a last name a bill amount and must be the database generates the id right so we go ahead we create a repository class so we have a repository class like this repository is equal to new uh, repository and we say okay create a customer class and uh, you know give him the properties like first name and last name whatever we have so first name something and last name something and bill amount something right and uh, once we do that you know we go ahead and we save this into the repository we save it into a database whatever it is and many times you know developers use the same class you know for reading so for insert update and delete they use the same class as well as if you say you want to read it you will say okay let me go ahead and say list of customer you know so class equal to use you will say repository dot uh, read and you get so you, you you're using the same class for inserting as well as you are using the same class for reading right now let us say when you're reading the customer class you need some more properties you say that uh, you know i want uh, to see that how many times you know the customer visited my shop you know so you'll say okay you know uh, number of times number of visits okay number of visits or you would like to say that what is the behavior of the customer so when you know which is his which product does he buy and so on so it must be you will say okay i also want the behavior of the customer i'm just using string for now right just uh, it's, a indi it's an indicative kind of a, a property so customer behavior okay so now what is happening out here right here these two properties number of visits and the behavior right is needed only during the read operation during the insert operation we don't need it right and let us say while you are reading this uh, customer class right while you're reading this customer you don't want to get the last name first name is more than enough so while reading you don't want this while reading you don't want this while inserting right while while doing the cut operation create update and delete you would you don't want this right now think about it you know and and this list can go on right you know some of the things you need in reading and some of the things you don't need in reading and some of the things you need in uh, insert update and delete and you don't need in reading right this customer class is getting loaded for no reason right and then later on what happens you keep on loading this and this customer class becomes a god class I, I i say that these kind of classes are god classes you know because they start loading everything and these god classes are definitely a violation of s from the solid single responsibility principle 
that this cl this class is trying to do everything insert update delete read and whatnot right so what the command query responsibility segregation principle says that just create them separately don't worry about reusability because what happens here is developers think start thinking about reusability but as you think more about reusability as you are more inclined towards reusability remember that your class starts becoming complex right and that complexity you know somewhere becomes more bad you know as compared to the small reusability advantage you get right so what command query says just create a separate class here called as customer command right and in customer command just put this three properties what you want because you want during the insert right and in read and just create a separate class called as query classes right and in this query classes what you do you don't want the last name then remove the last name right and you keep only the the things what you need so now from your repository when you're adding you will say that i want to have that command actually right so while you're actually you know here you will have a model but at this point i'm trying to simplify it and while you're reading you will say that i want to go and get that query class so you can see while inserting you will use the command class and while reading you will use the query class so command query responsibility segregation is nothing but you know where you go ahead and you create separate set of classes for insert update and delete and separate set of classes you know for query right now definitely the example which i've given out here is uh, is very uh, it, it's at a very basic level but in the class you know i'll be talking about you know how to implement you know cqrs in a more uh, what you call professional way in a more uh, organized way right because over there i'll be talking about command handlers i will be talking about uh, uh, you know queues and so on right so we'll discuss that so i am looking forward you know to i'm looking forward for everyone for this coming saturday and sunday we will talk about cqrs command query responsibility segregation thank you happy learning happy job hunting be happy be billable thank you